Hi guys, um, sorry about the background noises. We are having our shooting in our office today, so ignore those people in the background and focus on the sound of my voice. Hello, welcome back to a new segment uh, with uh, MPH Jombri. My name is Miss Buku, and for today we are going to talk about an issue that is very relevant to. Uh, to us all, regardless where you are in the world, which is environmental issues. So, um, if you all have followed the, the environmental crisis uh, so far, we have um, we have this global activist uh, Greta Thunberg, who is 16 years old and has been uh, traveling around the world, uh, encouraging us and demanding us to fix the world and to fix the environment before uh, children like her have to suffer the consequences. So, but in order for us to know how we got here, we have to know what makes us uh, reach this. Um, at this point in the world where every everyone is burning, everywhere is burning, the sea rises and so on. So there are five books that I would like to recommend to you all to understand what is happening with the world and how we get to this point where the world is burning and we're not sure if we can even survive the next 12 years. So the first book that I would recommend is Silent Spring Revisited by Connor Mark Jameson. So if you are familiar with Rachel Carson's uh, Silent Spring, it was published in 1962. It was uh, considered one of the first books that discusses the environmental uh, crisis and the loss of biodiversity. So after uh, a few decades, what, uh, how have we progressed? What have we done to preserve the, our biodiversity? So this is a follow-up. Uh, of that uh, book by Rachel Carson that discusses what happens when um, the birds, the bi biodiverse birds in uh, in the world has disappeared and what are the effects that is happening to us, uh, especially since even the UN has uh, reported that we are losing biodiversity at a rapid rate. So this is a book that I would definitely recommend to discuss on diversity and how we got here. And then another book that I would like to uh, recommend is uh, something that is uh, is an international silent bestseller. We didn't realize that when this book first came out, it's going to be such a hit, but it is, especially nowadays where there are fire burnings everywhere and Amazon, which is the Amazon forest, which is considered the lung of the world, are burning at a rapid rate and politicians are doing nothing to prevent it. The fact of the matter is trees are actually alive we always see trees as something that is very inanimate that is uh, that provides us with oxygen but we don't realize that they have their own social system they also have uh, they also take care of their children they share their nutrients with um, elderly trees as well do you know that they actually have a social network as well so this is a very good book that has been well researched the hidden life of trees to uh, make you more appreciative of uh, the, the natural forest and the fact that they, just like us and animals, have their own social lives and it is up to us to preserve them. Another thing that we should talk about is the rising sea levels. Uh, if you know Jakarta especially, is uh, the, uh, is a very fast sinking and even the, the, the government there is planning on building another city to replace it. And it's not just Jakarta, a lot of uh, cities that is based on the waterfront area are uh, sinking at a rapid rate and how will this affect us as a global community? What happens when all the people, the refugees from the, from the sinking cities goes to the landlocked area? What will happen to them? What are these effects on the refugee crisis and also the um, what will happen with the um, civilized world basically? Because once the sea level rises, there's nowhere else to go and then we all have to discuss this thing <laughs> where uh, everyone is scrambling for food and protection and then we, are, we have to be prepared for when that time comes and even now we can see there's a lot of hurricanes, there's a lot of flooding and everything not just in, uh, in Southeast Asia but in our, uh, other countries around the world as well so this is a very good book to read when you are discussing the uh, rising sea levels and uh, hurricanes and tornadoes and 
how it affects us as a global society. And another interesting book that is considered uh, the this century, uh, this. Um, centuries, this decade's uh, silent spring and also the inconvenient truth is the uninhabitable world. Because nowadays, because of the climate change, so few places that are spared from the uh, climate disasters such as tornadoes and earthquakes and um, and uh, and fire, forest fires and so on, where on earth is is habitable uh, anymore even the rich and famous are planning on you know going to Mars to survive nowadays I mean Elon Musk just uh, uh, revealed his space X thingy where he wants to go to Mars with the rest of the rich people but the rest of us we have to stay on earth so what will happen to us in the future if we go to the, if we don't stop this trajectory of climate crisis so the earth will be uninhabitable but in order for us to know what's coming uh, what is coming and for us to stop it from being a chronic disaster we should know what we should uh, empower ourselves with knowledge on what is happening right now so this is one of the best books that talk about uh, the crisis that is coming to us and how what we can do to prepare for it uh, as usual DK books always have the best infographic kind of book because sometimes the information in all the rest of these books are very hard to digest but when you have this kind of book where there is a lot of infographics and pictures inside of what exactly have we done it's easier to digest the information so this book is called how we're effing up the planet which is a bit you know, uh, you know it's a bit a uh, scandalous title but I highly recommend this for teachers for parents to to share with their with their children regardless of the scandalous title uh, probably because the fact that we don't care about a planet is the reason why the publisher decided to <laughs> have such a um, prominent title on a very informative book so uh, this is something that I would highly recommend to librarians and uh, for parents as well to share with their children especially since these are the these are the earth that they will be inheriting from us of course it's not all doom and gloom a lot of children especially have been marching have been talking to politicians on um, pushing them to react to the climate change and um, focusing on the climate crisis and I think it's very important for us to uh, empower ourselves with knowledge of what is happening to our changing world and these books are some of the books that you can read to uh, empower yourself with knowledge of what's to come and also to prevent the bad and to encourage the good changes. Uh, if you like this video, leave a comment and t uh, tell me what is your own favorite books about the environment? Are you inspired by the recent climate strike? Uh, and what do you do to ensure a better, a better future tomorrow for you and your children? So uh, if you like this video, uh, click share and uh, leave a comment and like. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.